Hey everyone, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I just got my new Note 8 like last Friday or two Fridays, two Fridays ago actually on um, September the 8th, one week before its release date of September the 15th. And so I should have my review done maybe in another few days or so. I'm still, man, there's so many things to learn about this phone and go over. So it's taken me a little longer than expected to do this review, but I've been going online and watching YouTube videos and stuff like that about the iris scanner or the different unlock features on the Note 8. And uh, first of all, one thing that I like with this phone and probably most of your Android phones is that there's different options to unlock the phone unlike the Apple iPhone X or iPhone 10 which if face unlock doesn't work you're gonna have to use a regular pin to unlock your phone and that's a lot of money right there for a feature that may not work as good for right now you're paying a lot of money the new iPhone 10 I think is nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for the 64 gig version or something like that but anyways I don't wanna like be hating on Apple and everything like that there's one reviewer I can't remember or actually I do remember what I, I don't wanna put him on blast um, that said that the iris scanner here on the Note 8 was not that accurate. First of all, they're saying, oh, it can't read your eyes if you're wearing shades. Well, duh. How the hell is it supposed to read your eyes if you're wearing shades if it can't see your eyes in the first place? So I thought that was a pretty stupid comment for someone to say that, oh, the iris scanner is not that accurate when you're wearing shades. Come on, man. Really? Really? Anyways, we're going to test this out. Okay, so when I got this phone and I set up the iris scanner, it said to set it up with just your bare eyes. No contact lens, no glasses and stuff like that. I actually, when I registered my eyes or my irises, I was wearing contacts, but it still read them. And... I've been pleasantly surprised at how accurate this um, iris scanner is. So I want to show you guys that. So first off, this is just plain lighting. I'm going to swipe the phone up and get it to read my eyes. And there you go. And that's in plain lighting, right? And I do, I am wearing contact lenses right now. Normally I'll wear glasses. If I'm not wearing glasses, I'll wear contact lens. Okay, so now I'm going to break out my glass. Now, mind you, this is a first, because this is the first time I'm actually wearing my glasses and my contact lens at the same time. It's probably not something you want to do, but just for the sake of science, we're going to test it out. Normally, when this thing is working, my phone is working to unlock my... When the note is unlocking my phone and I have my glasses on, I don't have my contact lens on. But this time I have both my contact lens and my glasses on at the same time. So let's test it out. Now when you are wearing glasses you do have to get a little bit closer. But you see that? It still worked. Right now everything is blurry because of my glasses and contact lens. But let's try that again. And there it goes, it unlocked. It took a while that time because I didn't have it positioned properly. One more time. Swipe up. Swipe up. Look at my eyes. There you go. And it unlocked it right there. Okay, now we're going to do this. I'm going to take my glasses back off. We're going to make it dark in here. So it's totally black right now, totally dark. I'm going to have the turn the phone on, swipe up. 
have it look at my eyes and it unlocked again okay on it's still locked now it's looking for my eyes and boom it's on my eyes and it unlocked okay now here is the big one we are going to test it in the dark with my contact lens and my glasses whoa okay swipe up and it did it just like that try it again just to make sure you guys know see it is locked and I'll swipe up it's gonna look for my eyes and it's on my eyes right there I had to bring it closer so I don't know if you guys saw that on camera but man let me turn the lights back on the iris scanner here on the note 8 is freaking awesome I love this iris scanner um, I mean of course you could also use your fingerprint sensor here in the back but normally like if I have this lying on the table or lying on its dock or stand it's kind of an inconvenience to pick up your phone and then look for the uh, fingerprint scanner and then you know read your fingerprints where with the iris scanner even while it's lying face down all you have to do you know when when it's when the phone is turned off the screen is turned off just turn it back on swipe up look at it and boom you're good to go so I am really liking this iris scanner I like it a lot you can't fool it I already talked about that in the previous post you can't fool the iris scanner and um, so far it's been working excellently the only time it doesn't work for me is when I first wake up in the morning and I put my glasses on and the screen is kind of bright so I'm squinting at my I'm squinting my eyes because I can't open them both fully at the same time and it doesn't read it but other than that it's been amazing I love the iris scanner here on the Note 8 and it's been pretty accurate so far so that is that so stay tuned I will have the review coming up shortly maybe in about a week no more than that but that's it this is the test of the note 8 iris scanner everyone thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you soon for another video and have a great day